Marie, uh, it's really great to have you here. You've been a very productive agent and I've got you for a long time and we're appreciative of who you are. But I'm curious because I want people to understand a little bit more about your background and what makes you function. So my first question to you is, was real estate your original career or were you involved in something else prior to being in a real estate business? Yes. I was the controller of Thrifty Rental Car Inc. of California for over five years. Accounting background? Accounting background, yeah. yeah. And, uh, but um, the corporation, the president, needed, wanted to retire and sold the corporation. So I didn't want to go and uh, work for somebody else anymore. And I opened an accounting firm doing taxes and accounting. And I was doing very well for about 25 years. I worked and, you know, and decided to retire because it's, you know, I wanted to retire. Well, then. obviously you failed the retirement because you're now- Exactly, so exactly. Well. I couldn't sit yeah. home and do nothing. Uh -huh. So I decided, okay, my passion is real estate, so I want to go into real estate. So yeah, that's an interesting situation because I've always considered people who are accountants, architects, designers, people who think logically out of the left side of their brain. In the real estate business, you find that in our business, a lot of times we operate out of the right side of our brain, which is the emotional side. Uh, people buy, people sell using emotions, using their heart as well as their head. Uh, did you adapt quite well to that? Yes, I did because I'm passionate for real estate. I okay. love real estate. I don't believe in stocks or anything, so okay. I do love real estate. You're an immigrant. What country are you from? I am from Lebanon. Uh, Lebanon, yes. Beirut? And Beirut. And uh, when I came to United States, I did not used to speak English. I learned English in the United States. My Understand. education was in French because it was a French colony. I understand Beirut is the most beautiful city. It used to be. Not yeah, anymore. It <laughs> you should see the TV. Yeah. It's had some degree of devastation. Like yes, that. it used to be. Well, I'm an immigrant too, and I think we're both glad to be in yeah. California. Yeah. Okay. If you were training a new agent in our business, what would you suggest for the new agent to do in the first month of being in the real estate business? Perhaps reflect upon what you did, and what would you advise an agent to do? The most important is uh, to learn the scripts, train. We offer you offers all these classes weekly, nightly, weekends. And it's free for everybody. It's not like other co uh, companies, you know, you don't charge them. It's free to train and to learn the scripts, to have a go. Business. A business plan. A business plan. And uh, I know that we have, uh, and I use it, we have a planner, daily planner. Uh -huh. To use the daily planner so they know hour by hour what they are supposed to do, if they are doing, if they are not doing. And this is very important for them. Perhaps a little bit easier for you because of your accounting background. Uh, I think that's one of the major benefits you probably have because part of a real estate transaction is the arithmetic, the mathematics of putting a transaction together, uh, qualifying people to recognize what they can and cannot afford, what their budget is. And without accounting, that's giving you a lift up. Yes. After an afternoon of aggressive prospecting, door knocking, expired listings, was. How do you overcome the negativity that you've just encountered? Part of our business is rejection. We get a tremendous amount of rejection. Can you handle that personally? I look at my notes. I look how many people I have been able to, to talk with and explain about, you know, if, uh, you know. And then I, because the result is not going to be right away, and I'm happy, I go home, I'm, uh, you know, uh, I look up and I say, okay, I look at my notes and I say, okay, I have this many new, you know, prospective clients, yes. which will be hopefully my clients in the near future. You see yourself more as a counselor than a salesperson. A counselor there for a support system, being available, being visible, uh, being an advisor. Exactly, I do see myself like that. Yeah. What is your major business strength? What qualities do you bring to the table that have assisted you to be successful? Important things is that real estate, because I am in, I love real estate, and I am passionate, and I love to help people. 
So the, this, these two together, I have to use them in real estate. In residence. Exactly. I have to help them. I have to serve them, and I love to serve people. So this is this is uh, this is me. It's, it's uh, you know. You're persuading them to do something that without your help might be difficult for them to do. Exactly. Okay. And I'm the professional. I you know I will uh, you know guide them. I will help them to make the right decision. I will persuade them. I will tell them the pros and cons, and uh, and they will take it from there. Yeah. You portray leadership qualities in terms of the way you conduct yourself, and I think that's important. I hate to use the word control, but it does give you some degree of control over giving people direction because of your strong personality. You do have a strong personality, okay? And now, if I was a seller, why should I market my home with Marie? What would you bring to the table that would persuade me to want your services? Okay, I'm the best. I do, uh, you know, I know my business and I know I do it for uh, their benefit to help them get what they want. Also, my, uh, I am a, uh, my qualities are I'm a very strong negotiator. Remember, I come from Lebanon. <laughs> when I came here, you know, I was surprised that, you know, you don't have to negotiate anything. This is a price and then you have to pay the price. So I'm a strong negotiator. I also am, uh, you know, provide staging to my customers. Yeah. I also provide the virtual tours. I have a company that I use to get uh, virtual tours. And uh, also, with your help, I provide them the cosmetic loan program and the bridge loan program, which no other, you know, real estate company offers. We are unique. We offer these programs, and that helps to close. It's interesting, and I don't want to elaborate on it too much, but it is very, very good to be able to sit down with someone that owns the property and say, "Look, we like your home, but it does need some minor repairs. We're prepared to advance you the capital necessary so your home can show in the best condition." Exactly. It's a program that has worked very effectively for you and for us. Yes. Berkshire Hathaway our Home Services, California Properties. Obviously, I believe very thoroughly in our brand, but what do you benefit from in terms of Berkshire Hathaway? Uh, what might be the, the name term? recognition? Yeah. It's huge. The name recognition is huge. And you know, when you say Warren Buffett, everybody stops there. You know. Uh, so you're eating cheese candy. You have Geico Insurance. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> and uh, Dairy Queen's a great place to be. And, we have Fruit the Loom. There are very, very industries that he has beyond where he is right now. Um, Marie, great meeting with you here. Any final thoughts? Well, I am very happy working for you. Okay. And Who said you work for me? For Who said you work for me? You're, <laughs> well, so, you're so I, independent. I, I am <laughs> independent, but I, I, I appreciate okay. everything that you offer to your agents and, you know, and you're a very generous man, and you do this out of your goodness of your heart, and uh, and we appreciate it. Oh, well, thank you so much. My mother feels the same way. Just of course, she's a mother. <laughs> I feel the same way about my son. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.